So this kit says, technically this says a limited item, right? But are limited items technically, are they P Bandai items? I don't know, it's got the monochrome box, like a P Bandai item, but is a limited item technically a P Bandai item? I'm gonna label the video P Bandai anyways, just in case. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Gumpla University. Today we got another short video for you because horrors are always short videos, right? So here we are checking out another horror and this time we're checking out the uh, limited item horror basic green that we picked up from Anime NYC. So first off, starting off with the box. Um, it's got the whole like monochromatic, I believe is the term for it like box going on. So I think technically that means that this is a P Bandai kit. I'm not exactly sure. Um, so if you know, let me, let me know down in the comments below whether or not this is technically is a P Bandai kit. But so as we can see here on the box, we've got everything in the monochromatic green color, including the, oops, sorry, wrong, wrong side. Bandai down here logo is also in green. And this one is from the Build Divers. Man, I got I get used to like direction. So on this side, there we go. The Build Divers Re, Re Rise? Build Divers? No. I think this is a regular Build Divers logo right here. But this is from the Build Divers series. And as you can see, just the Haro here on the front with some nice text over here telling us that it's a Haro basic, but it's in the clear green color. And as you can see on the box here, if we look closely, you can see some of the like the um, parts or like the circuitry in the Haro behind this clear uh, green. So that's what we have there on the front cover on the side here. Nothing really going on. It's interesting that they actually put a solid Haro over here. You can tell this Haro is actually not clear. So maybe Bandai just got lazy or goofed right there or just couldn't be bothered to take another photo. But we've got the full horror right there, but that is actually not a clear horror. On the bottom, nothing there other than our sticker from Bluefin pretty much. And oops, dropped the box. And up here on the top side, same thing. And again, with the wrong horror up there. So that's kind of funny. Let's go ahead and jump into the box and see what we got. So with this horror, you get a total of three runners. So very, very small amount of runners in here, your A1 and two, as well as your PC parts. Um, and that's it for runners. There's really not much going on here. Very simple build. If you've built a horror, you've built them all. But if you have like, um, this one's much more like a standard Haro than some of your other Haros where like, uh, like your Haro Plo Ball, where you have like a couple extra pieces for like arms or extra limbs. This one is just a purely basic Haro, just in clear green. So if you built that one, then you definitely can build one of these. And with this one, you don't even get any full stickers. Here we have the one page manual here, just like all of the rest of them. Very simple there. So with all that stuff out of the way, here he is, our little teeny baby green limited Haro. And I think he looks really good. He actually kind of reminds me of the larger, I believe it's the figure eyes Haro. Um, don't quote me on that. I'll leave a picture of him up here somewhere as well as put a link to him somewhere. But the larger uh, version of the Haro, which I believe is that figure eyes Haro, actually really reminds me of him. And if we zoom in and we look really closely at him, you can see where there's like the mechanics on the inside of him are kind of visible here. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and paint this Haro up and you can actually make these mechanics look really nice. I think it would look really cool to actually paint one of these up and just kind of make all of that like wiring and everything in there pop. But you can see that here on the front side. And I believe unlike the larger version of this where you can see those mechanics all the way through, on this version you can't, the backside of it is just hollow. So, you know, no 
Fan, I didn't really put any um, effort into the back side of this, but not that I'm complaining. I think that, you know, either way, it still looks good just to have a, a clear horror. So now being that this is just a regular standard horror, you do get the arms and the parts for the feet on the bottom as well. Well, you get those pieces. I decided to put them on the bottom. I don't think any of my horrors I actually have the like limbs hanging out of. Um, I don't know, that's just my preference. Personally, the majority of my horrors I actually have them sitting down in like the little uh, bowl fashion here. But every once in a while for the cool ones, I will go ahead and put them on this little mini stand that they give you or actually this little mini riser. A riser is probably a better word for this. But so that's why I have this uh, limited, maybe P Bandai, maybe not P Bandai, uh, Harvo sitting on this riser. But yeah, cool little build. Awesome to have in the collection if you're a horror collector. And um, yeah, I mean, they say it's a limited item, but you know, my question for limited, anytime somebody says limited is, well, how limited is limited really? You know, so um, I will say, you know, I haven't seen these anywhere else since Anime NYC. In fact, Anime NYC was the only place I saw these. So if you're a horror collector and, you know, this is one that's kind of looks good to you. Maybe you want to go ahead and grab one of these before they are all gone. But um, actually, it actually looks like they actually made these in 2018. So, and we picked this up at Anime NYC in 2019. So maybe they're getting close to the end of their run. So you may want to go ahead and grab one of these if you haven't already and it's something that you're interested in. But as you can see there, Bandai 2018. But yeah, guys, there he is. There is our short little video on this little limited edition horror. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a comment down below, like and subscribe. Make sure you guys check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, all that good stuff. And uh, let me know if you guys enjoy like these little short videos. I may try to do more of these like short videos, like two minutes here, two minutes there. But other than that, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for stopping by. And I will see you guys on the next video. Be sure to build something great. And till next time, I will see you guys later.